from these two boxes can you see which one is real which one is fake choose one right now because i am going in depth to compare both of these pieces one of them is an authentic piece while the other one is i'm not sure you'll have to watch the video to determine whether or not it's a good copy Welcome to another brand new video. Thank you so much if you are a return viewer. My name is Vivian and welcome to my first luxury for all luxury related videos. As usual, every time when I'm filming a video, I get super, super excited because I'm trying to find those contents that's useful to all of my viewers. So today's topic is going to be the fact that I went online and I chose something that is affordable. I have another piece that is the exact same thing. So today I'm bringing to you the comparison on one of their most iconic pieces. If you are a viewer and a customer, you're thinking to purchase some of these things online, sometimes without a lot of experiences buying something, you could really become a victim. That's why I want to put out videos like this. So when you're buying something, you have a reference point, you would know what the real one looks like, what the fake one looks like. If you are buying from an unknown seller or somewhere that you're not familiar with, you know the key indications to look for between the real and the fake items so I really hope I'm making this video helpful if this is the first video you're watching I have previously done another real versus fake video on the Chanel classic flat bags in the medium size if you have not checked that one out yet I'm going to link it in here so you could give it a look and I would love for you to join us I just want to emphasize that I am by no means sitting here trying to promote to buy fake stuff or good copy so please do not leave any comments asking me where to get it because it's really illegal to be selling fake stuff And I do not want to encourage people to do that. So leave something else instead. Let's get into which one is which I really would like for you guys to have a good look right now and pick one that you think is real and which one is fake. I'm giving you this time right now for you to decide before we are going to point out these details on both of these card holders. Alright you guys, we're going to start with the overall dimensions on these pieces and if I were to place them this way, it looks like they're pretty close to each other shape-wise. But if I were to move them next to each other, they still look pretty similar, isn't it? Look like they're the same size kind of in a way, but if I were to zoom in on the details, you can see that the flaps on the left one that I'm pointing at right now is a little bit shorter. And if I were to show you guys this way, you can see that the flaps are significantly shorter on the left one. Than the right one so that is the first giveaway and while we're on this angle you can also see that the flaps are very different so the one on the left is very sharply folded and then the one on the right is like the perfect arch perhaps this gives you a better view um, both of these are brand new and not been used so you can see that this is kind of a sharper like fold versus the one on the right which is a more generous and even fold so next we're gonna go in and compare the sizes in smaller areas so i'm gonna refer this to the left one and the right one and from what i can see first of all the colors are super off and i think this is like the perfect lighting to show you that this one appears to be kind of uh silvery but it's actually a very very light champagne gold versus this one that is like a super off gold color. So you can see the difference between these two logos. So let's look at the stitches on both of these pieces. And what I can see straight away, very obvious, is that one on the left, the stitchings are kind of like not straight compared to the one over here. You can see that the punches are a little bit more consistent and round and then also the lines of the stitching is more consistent compares to this one which just looks like a very you know quick machine work and from this angle also you guys can see 
the color of the color on the hardware which is gold this appears to be extremely gold versus this one over here comes off as like a silver tone i also want to point out to you maybe you have picked it up or noticed that already the edge of the flap you can also see that this is very nicely made compared to this one right here the edge part of the leather does not really have that caviar texture versus this is like a full caviar leather throughout. The Chanel is kind of known for the caviar leather and it's also the same case between you know the real and the fake. You can see that caviar texture on this one is a lot fuller and more consistent and even with the iridescent kind of leather it appears to be very very beautiful and you know that's not the case for the left side and also just wanted to show you guys kind of like the texture on the caviar right side is a lot more puffier like you can press it versus the one on the left which is just like hard and stiff and doesn't give you that kind of bouncy and leathery kind of you know response compares to the one on the right. I don't know if you can see it from the angle, but you guys can see from here that the quilting on this one, the right side one, is a lot puffier and just fuller compares to the one on this side, which is just completely flat and still. I guess this is a really good angle for you guys to see the difference in the texture. One is probably, you know, a print that tries to copy the caviar and one is the actual caviar print. And also you see the color differences on the hardware. It's another giveaway. Now we have opened up the flaps. And you can see that the one on the left is a little bit more stiffer because of the leather. I'm not sure what kind of leather this is or if it's real leather at all. Um, but at least compares to the one next to it, it appears to be stiff and the right one just stays up really, really well. And now that I've opened it up, you can kind of see that the flap on the left one is a little bit shorter and overall just like, you know, kind of off scale. And let's compare the font. This is the one on the left and you can kind of tell that the font is a little bit more. You can tell from the hardware, it's like super yellow gold and off. Let's show you the one on the right. It's a lot more clearer and also more bold and you can see it's perfectly embossed in every angle. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding but you can see that the, the one on the right is significantly more perfect. If you have not had a chance to hit the subscribe button while you're watching the video right now and you have come to this point, please hit that notification button so you don't miss any new videos coming out. I roll out new videos every week on all luxury related things. Okay, now we're gonna open it up completely. So this is the left one and that's the order we're gonna go by. And usually they're lined with fabrics inside and this is like a really matte kind of a fabric. That's what this one looks like. And then now let me show you the one on the right. Touch wise, it's a lot softer and I can open it wider immediately and I can see that there is a sheen like on the fabric lining as well on this one so it's all in the details and you can kind of pick up from these videos I hope the next part I really just want to share my experience with you guys because I am currently holding both of these and I can touch them and try my best to describe how I what I feel um, I mean this one has a fair amount of sheen but the leather is really not puffy like I said I'm not even sure if it's real leather but it just feels really hard and like cardboardy and even when I try to open it it's like really hard to get to compares to this one over here it's just soft and fluffy and light and also and also very pleasant to open and it's just well made but I think luxury is always about user experience mostly but unfortunately you guys are just looking at this video right now I'm the one that's holding it but I would say that the details of you know between the real and the fake is quite huge even though um, in the other videos some of my viewers say that you know they look very similar but no um, I really 
pretty much prefer uses this one and play with this one. This one is just like there for the look and I definitely don't enjoy using it. And even when I was demonstrating trying to open a flap, it's like hard versus this one. And the overall look is a lot more balanced versus this one, it's just very, very stiff. And holding them in my hand, I really can feel the quality between the two. Difference is really big, so I definitely want to share that with you guys. And I'm going to pop up on the screen right now a few more videos that I would recommend you to watch. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and until I see you next time, I hope you have a great week. See you guys later. Bye.